let's get into the gravy, okay? Let's 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 mix up the pot, stir up the pot, put in the peas, okay? Put in a little turkey neck bones, <laughs> even though I don't eat meat, but I will have a little turkey neck neck bones. Um, <laughs> you know, let's 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 get let's get the gravy, get the sauce together, you know, and um, and dip your bread in it. Get the, get the gravy and the sauce together so you can dip your bread in it. All right. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to rock a couple of things okay we're gonna do two looks and i'm gonna get this done quickly and smoothly because i planned everything out that way so i hope it goes that way um so let's get into it i have on this dress i got from i think it was nordstrom rack like a while back this is a layered type of see-through dress but it's layered so it's not really see-through but the material is like that see-through type of material um, I'll show you a close-up so I'm gonna show you guys how to rock this this is how I rocked it before okay and I decided that I want to wear this dress this fall but how do I rock it so I decided to do some things to it to spruce it up then I also have these cut patchwork jeans patchwork denim listen these are two things that are considered trendy and they come and go okay and I'm gonna show you guys how you can rock this right now in 2023 for the fall okay so this tie-dye dress is something that's, that's usually trending it's either in or it's out you know what I mean and patchwork denim is the same it's either in or it's out but what I want to relate to you guys is that these are two looks two in and out type of looks that fall under classic casual wear right so there's classic and then there's classic casual okay let's let's get into the classic casual here okay classic casual wear that comes and goes you know it's 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 kind of like it's it transcends time and it comes and goes. That's what I consider classic. So these are two pieces that I feel transcends time. It comes and it goes. You just have to know when it comes how to rock it. And the thing is, if it's not in at the moment, you can make it fit in. Okay, so I'm gonna show you in this video how to make it fit in. Okay, so let's get started. So this is a mock neck turtleneck that's see-through with polka dots on it. I don't mind the polka dots on this. I don't think that it has to be just a standard like see-through top. I think the polka dots on it add um, a little depth, you know, and ties in nicely with the print here. You can play on the print in this. Um, so I think it's sexy. The sheer look underneath this dress is sexy. It goes. And then the slightly puff sleeve here. I think it's cute. I, I, I think it's chic and I think um, it adds some character. So that's why I didn't cut off the sleeves because I wanted to cut off these puff sleeves, but I decided to keep it. And let's put on the boots. I'm wearing minimal jewelry here, okay? So I just have my Chanel uh, like pendant uh, small earring. I just wore one of them. And then I have a little glitz, little stud here on the other side. Okay, let's, let's get the boots. So with these knee-high leather boots, and knee-high leather boots are in right now. So like I said, this is a way to bring this dress into the now, the layering, and then the knee-high boots, okay? It took a lot. So this dress is ruched, which is great to add some shape. To myself and also the string here is just so funky and edgy and you can like bring it up higher bring it up low. I feel like you could bring it up higher also if you want to wear like tights underneath or leggings underneath it's fun that way but I'm just gonna keep it down right now give a regular mini look and then um, I'm gonna add My favorite this fall, the Seven for All Mankind faux leather jacket. It goes all the way down. Ugh, I don't really have a coat this long. I actually want a coat longer than this. So I think this is the next step. This is like the step before I get the coat that's even longer than this. And we can open it up a little bit, right? If you're gonna tie it, I feel like open it up a little bit, show off the dress. You know, Bloomingdale's has these straps. Nordstrom Rack has this. I, I got mine from Nordstrom Rack. And I threw in the silver just to add some edge, a little fun, a little funk. Okay, so this is 
one of the looks let me get into the patchwork denim okay let's have a little bit of fun with this all right hope you like the look guys so i have this juicy couture long sleeve top that i haven't worn in a while it's ribbed it's so beautiful and it has the juicy couture uh logo uh um, just uh, coming down off the sleeves and I thought it was just so beautiful when I got it when I picked it out I got it in an extra small because I really wanted it super fitted and I also wanted to be able to wear it underneath stuff for later. so I feel like this would be a really cute look for running errands or just going out and enjoying your Saturday afternoon somehow maybe a matinee um, you know, or an event, a gallery, an art gallery or something like that, um, you know, an exhibit. So we're going to like funk this up a little bit, have a little fun with it. So this is a bodysuit. Okay. And I'll let you know if I, if I find this online, this juicy couture ribbed long sleeve top. It's pretty, pretty long sleeve and I, I love it for that reason. And these patchwork denim are no name brand. And I'm gonna just um, like keep it chill, but also have a little bit of fun with it. Okay, so I'm gonna combine. I'm combining these Mark Fisher boots. Okay, these knee high Mark Fisher boots, genuine leather. Can't go wrong with them. I've had them for a couple of years, and I figured. These were really cute jeans to rock with these. I feel like it's unexpected. I, initially, I didn't think to add patchwork with uh, some sort of snakeskin animal print boot, but I feel like it works. And then um, the solid color of the top ties in with some of the cream brownish colors in the boot, okay? And I'm gonna lay this for the fall, okay? Because we're gonna go outdoors in this, okay? So. And I have on some subtle jewelry here, just a bangle, my hoop earrings, and then I got this new ring. I'm going to show you guys a close-up of this beautiful ring that I got from Marshalls, actually TJ Maxx recently, with this beautiful stone in it. So we're just going to put on a ring, keep it cute, keep it fun. Blazer going. We can keep it with the blazer, okay? You can put like a light scarf here to protect your neck or and add some some depth and some texture like there's texture with the boots you can throw on a textured vest over the blazer the leather blazer this is a genuine leather blazer and I feel like this is a look it's screaming fall it's screaming cute and casual and I feel like it elevates the patchwork denim bringing that classic casual into the now and uh, you know reusing it wearing it with purpose okay if you want you can add a little pouch here you know grab your pouch bag keep it cute keep it fun add a little pop of color in the mix okay and i hope you enjoyed this look i think it's so cute i think it's so me right are you going to try it or what and guys, before I head out, I want to share a self-care message of the day. I don't really know if you guys like these messages. I share them because it's really a part of my lifestyle and I'm, bringing my, I'm being myself and bringing myself to the table. But if you do enjoy these messages at the end, let me know. Drop a comment down below and I'll keep them going. But I just want to say that I'm realizing more and more that my self-worth is so important and how I treat myself and the things that I tolerate, the things I'm willing to do and not willing to do is a reflection of how strong my self-worth is, okay? And I put a lot of energy and attention into my well-being, all right? And I surround myself around people who have my well-being, uh, you know, at heart. Like, they consider that. They're thoughtful about it. They care about me, you know? Um, so, as I told you in my last video, I, I lost my job. And it was like a breath of fresh air to be able to move on to that and move into a space with another work client um, that is just so wholesome and caring and thoughtful, right? And um, 
just like with our partnerships and relationships, right, romantic re relationships, I feel like the work experience should be somewhat similar to that. I know that work sometimes can be hard, but just like a romantic relationship, I think it's important and necessary to feel valued, to feel loved at work on a work level, right? And that's something that you have to build up to, but you'll know if you meet a employer or a boss or a client who has your well-being at heart and and see a lot of potential in you and value that okay you can kind of tell that from the jump right so my thing is moving forward i know that those types of people are folks that i kind of stay away from those aren't clients that i move towards you know once i get you know the red flags okay so um i blocked my previous client by the way because i i'm i i will not accept anything less than what I deserve in my work experience and I work really hard and I deserve to be happy or, or somewhat to feel safe and connected right at work to feel valued and appreciated okay so I hope this helps someone out there I love to love you and comment down below and let me know what you think any thoughts and how would you have handled a situation where you know you weren't being valued at work okay let me know because i'm always open and willing to learn okay so i love to love you it's your girl tamara nicola and i'll see you again here soon i gotta go